welcome to this episode of Leadership Matters, a video series highlighting the stories, experiences of global leaders and providing some valuable leadership lessons. The series is hosted by Avinash Ananda, a recognized leadership advisor, happiness strategist and a motivational keynote speaker. Over the course of more than 30 years, Avinash has personally mentored more than a thousand leaders and trainers. He has also trained more than 1 million individuals from all walks of life in 30 countries. Today, we have the privilege of welcoming a true visionary and advocate for positive change, Narsima Raju, an accomplished global technology leader, board member and strategic advisor. Raju's expertise in human-centric value investing has reshaped the landscape of capital growth opportunities, demonstrating a profound commitment to ethical and impactful investment practices. From humble beginnings in India to becoming a prominent figure in the world of business and community development, Narsima Raju's story is one of profound transformation and unwavering dedication to making a difference. But beyond his illustrious career, Raju Shani is deeply rooted in a philosophy of service and empowerment, driven by a profound sense of purpose. His dedication to organizations like the DEC Network and Project Exploration underscores his mission to nurture entrepreneurship and foster inclusivity in underserved communities, particularly in the realms of STEM education. Hi, welcome to yet another episode of Leadership Matters. And the leader who matters, who I just met a few minutes ago before we started the recording, is Raju. Uh, Raju, this is a great day to meet. It's Mahashivratri. Happy Mahashivratri. You also reminded me it's Women's Day. Uh, so, and you've got a very peaceful, serene look you know, on your face. Uh, you're sitting where? In Dallas right now? Yes, that's right, Avinash. Uh, uh, thanks for having me on this uh, podcast. So Lovely. I'm in Mumbai. And uh, uh, we, I think, I think both are headed towards Delhi. But our, although we'll be in the same city, our paths will not cross. So I'm very happy to be doing this here. Raju has a very, very impressive profile, which was just uh, read out to you a little while ago. Uh, but let's hear it from the man himself. So, Raju, what got you where you are today? Well, um, it's a long journey. And I would like to say that the journey was not something that uh, typically it evokes in the minds of people, but it's more of a journey inwards. Um, I would take probably it's, um, you know, I must have been uh, in a fifth grade uh, while growing up in Hyderabad, India. Um, so a typical uh, um, you know, a Hindu family where, you know, you go to temples to do the prayer. And I remember this very well that, uh, you know, coming back from a temple and uh, it was a Shiva temple having, um, and my dad asked me, uh, what did you pray? And I didn't have an answer. Uh, and I didn't even know what prayer meant. Um, and that's when um, he told me that uh, since you're a student, why don't you uh, ask for, uh, you know, being good at studies and, you know, topping your class and etc. Um, then uh, like a, a good follower of what he told me and I just started doing that uh, every day, you know, uh, it would start with a, um, a prayer in the morning and, you know, uh, and then go to the school. Uh, but what struck me was if, if at all the prayers do come true, um, you know, why am I asking for only myself? You know, I have my friend here who sits next to me in my bench in the same class. So maybe I should include him. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, the few days go by and then something keeps bothering me. And, uh, you know, maybe I should ask for everybody who is sitting on the bench. We used to uh, three people in the bench. And then you could see this journey of uh, inquiring about this, the dialogue and all of that. This was going on. And I would fast forward several years, I mean, which started off with, the, you know, a friend to a bench to a class, uh, and then it moves to the whole school. And why should it be only limited to the school? And why can't it be everybody around? And then, you know, like that, it would keep going. 
and then not just limited to studies because everybody would want something else in their lives and um that became a quest towards um uh, i had to shorten the whole thing about uh, all the people around and why should we just limit to people why can't it be just for life in general and why is the life has to be constrained to only earth why can't it be everywhere around and fast forward i'm uh, uh, almost uh, at the 10th grade uh, going 9th to 10th and you know i you know this whole thing is very overwhelming because uh, the prayer didn't just stop it at home but also whenever i would see any temple around you know it just keeps going on and on and you know i used to hold my breath while i was doing all of this and without my knowledge i was actually practicing uh, what now pe- later on i realized it's like a form of a yoga or you know meditation mm-hmm. and uh, then um, you know overwhelmed with all of these thoughts uh, one day i quipped to a friend uh, his name is mahesh uh, he's actually in san diego uh, right now um uh, so, you know he's also done a name for shiva right sorry no oh, he's also a... <laughs> i never i never actually related it that way but that, that's sure. amazing yeah but yeah um i i told him like you know just i don't understand the purpose here and he didn't understand the gravity of my question he was just casually remarking hey, you've taken so much from this world what have you given back to it uh, right and that was i mean you know much later i would actually remind him of that but he would say that i don't much remember but he would have said things like that but he may not have actually meant uh, a lot of things but uh, it actually got me going in that path and in the 10th grader what do i have to give i mean nothing belonged to me there was uh, you know all the things that i had was what my dad gave me or my parents gave me and um, that gave me into uh, thinking about like you know what is it that i can truly give back and the only thing that i acquired that i could probably claim that even though it isn't mine but i could probably contribute was whatever i knowledge i gained from the school and i started mm-hmm. helping my own fellow classmates we used to do combined studies and you, you know i used to take it upon me to make this sure from they, grade 10 from grade yeah. 10 yeah wow wow so it got me on to the journey of uh, uh teaching slash morphed into mentorship i didn't realize when it one thing back became other but i think these are all blurred uh, at some point uh, but it kind of uh, went from um you know one where i could see a multiplier effect of like you know i can acquire a certain knowledge from all the teachers and everybody around me but when i give it to multiple people i could actually spread that and um so teaching was almost a common thread throughout my life and from there i went on to do my 11th and 12th and then took uh, engineering just like everybody and uh, came uh, where was this which city Uh, hyderabad in hyderabad itself okay yeah um, what school did you go to in hyderabad kendriya vidyalaya picket oh nice i was in uh, hps begum pit huh? oh. and before that i was in vidyaranya oh nice uh, so we have a common place uh, of right. education background yeah so i uh, after that you know um, like i think the computers field was entering into the mainstream yeah. and you know like everybody i jumped on the bandwagon of uh, doing my engineering in computer science um you know uh, from hyderabad and then uh, um, along with everyone i came to us to pursue my further studies so i've got like 25 years in technology but what i always kept up with is uh teaching and in fact my very first uh, role uh, right after my masters happened to be a leadership role uh, i was actually leading a team um you know and i didn't realize that all that happened because of the journey that i took uh, which was more what, what is the what is the correlation that inward journey which is brilliant we'll talk about it a little more but that journey inside uh, uh how can you correlate it with what you're doing on the outside because uh, for example this whole thing about giving back 
You're doing a lot of work in the field of, in, in, the, in the area of giving back, in the area of contribution. Would you talk a little bit about that? And also about your achievements, how, how that expansion of your identity from who you are to your friend, to your uh, bench, to your class, to other human beings, to life in general, and then that expansion of who you are to uh, beyond uh, uh, just the studies, but you know, you are expanding. So that expanding inside, how did it help your expanding outside? What's your success story conventionally? And this whole thing about mentoring and giving back knowledge, uh, how are you also giving back apart from knowledge in the, the, in the world today? Yeah, I, I think... Um, when when we do this self inquiry type of uh, mode, and which I yes. strongly uh, advocate, everybody should right. undertake. But it needs to be grounded in certain core um, uh, principles. And I actually uh -huh. was guided by the principle of consistency and completeness. Um, I mean, these are not the words that actually existed in my vocabulary while I was actually undertaking that. But when you look at from the completeness perspective and, you know, and, and also consistency, when you are doing this self-inquiry and asking for something within yourself that, you know, you need something for yourself or your few people around you, it, feel, it felt very incomplete. incomplete. Some kind of a, um, something was missing and I, I wasn't feeling content with it. And, and I think that that urge uh, where you constantly are into this inquiry mode, I, I think mm -hmm. it just comes out. Um, I mean, it isn't just like, you know, I, was, I wasn't sitting under a tree and something just happened. It, it happened over several years and sure. on a sure. daily consistent basis, when you keep having this thread um, of, uh, you know, self-inquiry, I think that was just something that natural consequence. And uh, to your other question about this whole expansiveness and all of that, I'll actually fast forward to something much more recent, like about five years back while I was pursuing my executive MBA from Kellogg. Um, there was an interesting situation that uh, I was at the crossroads of my career and I was trying to decide, you know, I've, you know, I've done, you know, based on my uh, education from undergrad and master's, I was able to come to this level, but I needed to pivot into the uh, business side of the world. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I was trying very hard is to break through into the board positions. And I tried in every possible way, asking a lot of people around me, um, you know, I want to get in. And, you know, I was looking hard to do all of that, but none of that actually worked. Um, in fact, uh, you would you would encounter a lot of uh, fraudsters along the way, you know, who would like to take you along this. Um, kind of felt a little dejected. Uh, you know, it's, um, but what I ended up doing was what I was good at. I said, you know, let me just do what I know naturally and help. And Corona, um, you know, just a, a few years back now, I mean, it almost looks a long time back, but uh, uh, when the Corona happened, everything was shut down. I uh, was aggressively reaching out to these small and medium businesses, trying mm -hmm. to help them. Uh, with whatever means that I could, with the knowledge of business that I had, the strategy and the marketing, you know, what can they do? How can they pivot? Um, and in the process, I actually got in touch with Dallas Entrepreneur Center, who were also didn't know what to do. Everybody was uh, completely in chaotic mode. Nobody had any direction. So I started seriously mentoring these entrepreneurs who were all shut down from their traditional ways of doing the businesses. And in the quest of helping them, the CEO of Dallas Entrepreneur Center reached out to me saying that I would like to report to you. I mean, that was a way of uh, putting it uh, that he wanted to offer me a board position. And within, uh, so I gladly accepted, I was interviewed and et cetera. So I think, you know, you know, when you are looking for all of this, I think you just have to come back to what you're more uh, natural at. And this whole ability to expand and give the knowledge ties into that. Uh, and, you know, it wasn't that long ago. I mean, and I do see that repeatedly. I think you just have to stick to who you are at the core. Um, I think uh, the universe will open up. This is absolutely brilliant. 
That's fantastic, Raju. Uh, where are you now and where are you headed? And before that, the so, question that I asked, which was not answered yet, is how else are you giving back? I, I understand you're associated with, with philanthropy, with, uh, with uh, uh, organizations where you're helping even other sections of society. Yeah, actually, this, it's, this is an interesting way, uh, um, you know, the, from the, um, I do help uh, these nonprofits, I do uh, contribute uh, monetary as well. But uh, what I've done is, I actually also teach kids math and physics and all the way till 12th Agreed. grade. And what I do is I actually charge these parents uh, for the, you know, kind of uh, the service that sure. I provide. And I actually redirect all of that to the other areas uh, that I uh, want to invest. Uh, Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Lovely, lovely. Um, last year I contributed almost 20 yeah, 20 something odd thousand dollars. So, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Lovely. Uh, uh, you personally, are you happy most of the time or uh, are they ups and downs? Um, I mean, I, I would, I think most of the time I'm content, I would say. Uh, yeah. You know, but there how will you, be. How, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, there, there will be times where it might just feel like uh, certain things are not falling in place. But that's uh -huh. just an expectation gap, and I just let be myself, and uh, I think it just uh, falls. So I, how I'm do you balance okay. how how do you balance your contentment with your ambition? I think um, being reasonable and being um, all inclusive uh, in terms of um, you know expectations, and I think when expectations are within myself, I have it in my control. And I have absolutely no issues with that. And, you know, I rarely set expectations on the uh, entities that are outside my control. So I think that just uh, keep it very simple, I guess. I don't know why a lot of people complicate it, but uh, I think I just yeah. keep it very simple that way. Lovely, lovely, Raju. Huh? This is so interesting um, how the whole thing is so aligned. Huh? Your philosophy inside, within as it evolved and uh, expressed on the outside gives you uh, the success. Right? Most people feel that the inner world and the outer world are two different things. And uh, uh, you, you're you moving towards a completeness and consistency. Extremely powerful, Raju. Very, very powerful. What's next for you? I think, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for um, a global platform where I could make an impact that is much more beyond my realm of Dallas. And, you know, and I think businesses are, uh, you know, one avenue that I know of where you do happen to get a bigger uh, presence heard. I mean, I always used to say this, uh, when you shout from bottom, nobody will hear. But when you whisper from top, everybody pays attention. And I think if there is a... Uh, message that I need to communicate. I, I think it needs to be heard. Um, and um, I would continue on the path of uh, doing what I'm best at uh, and reach out to people um, in the form of uh, business, helping uh, through board positions, uh, uh, be it uh, advising, you know. So I guess uh, just give back. Excellent, excellent. To give back, you need to have. To yep. have, you need to learn. Yep. And that keeps happening with you? Are you looking yes. at exploring new areas of learning? Yeah. Is it, is it important for a leader to do that? Yeah, I, I think uh, uh, one of the most important things um, that I would say has kept up with me consistently has been that inquiry, learning, inquisitiveness, uh, being curious. I, I, I always tell um, the people that I come across with, uh, there are only two ways the people get motivated. There's a fear. That's one motivation. And when I say fear, it's a lack of or scarcity mode, right? Mm -hmm. And there's another way, and that is curiosity. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I would say we as humans should be driven by curiosity and not by the scarcity or the, uh, you know, the lack of uh, things around or the fear of, you know, so I am, I'm a curious uh, learner. Um, when I, uh, even though I kind of told you about the mentorship and, you know, teaching and all of that, but it's more of uh, learning. I mean, when you are actually teaching, you are actually learning. Absolutely. Absolutely. When, you're doing, yeah, when you're doing the mentorship, 
the you are actually the subject <laughs> and it actually feels a little weird when i say that uh, but you know it is actually helping you introspect you know in every dimension possible and the other person just happens to be there and we are um, you know kind of that, that's also the way of looking at it and i think it's a perspective and right. you are learning more uh, through that process and and i think it is the learning that happens most of the time than the uh, the teaching sure. yeah brilliant absolutely brilliant would you put your hands together just for a moment put your hands together please sir okay and just repeat after me rajun this is i was very uh, compelled to share this right now normally i don't do this when i when i'm uh, uh, talking to uh, leaders over this particular uh, uh, podcast sir. but uh, you reminded me of this just repeat after me please i feel what i feel i feel good i feel i think what i think i think what i think i say what i say i say what i say i do what i do i do what i do i want what i want i want okay. what i want. now i feel what i think i think what i say i say what i do i do what i want i think before i say when my feeling and thinking clash they get aligned based on what i want what my values are you this is a this is a demonstrable model of alignment ah and the <laughs> alignment is is yog you know yoga yog which is mind body spirit huh? it's a new mba mind body atma you know uh, <laughs> when they get aligned when you're aligned from the inside and outside when you have that completeness okay then all you want to do is sit like raju and smile and everything will happen huh? the board positions will happen the opportunities to contribute and impact will expand so exciting to meet you raju so so exciting okay yeah. you like that <laughs> oh absolutely I'm, that was a, a quick short way to learn something <laughs> so impressive uh, yeah it's uh, from a uh, uh, system of knowledge that we created called meta mind alignment ah. uh, i'm going to sum up whatever we've spoken about in my own little way with an acronym of your name if that's okay with you raju and if you want you can make a note of this r is for reflection okay i'm trying to see the messages or the main points that we spoke about today and linking you with who raju is okay from whatever i understood in this short time r is for reflection but r is also i, I think r is mainly for reflection uh, most people go through life uh, gaining experience and they think that experience will bring them wisdom but it's not the experience it's the reflection of the experience it's the assimilation of this new knowledge with the old one uh, it's it's about becoming self facing as a mentor uh, uh, and you don't exist the other one doesn't exist you're absorbing and you're growing brilliant uh, i think this is a powerful message for all leaders reflect like raju yes. <laughs> <laughs> you coffee with kind of reflect with that <laughs> you should do a podcast like it uh there's uh, a million dollar idea huh, by the way uh are reflection reflect uh reflection i would also say um how how do i put this uh rejuvenation this this uh or, or revitalization at every point of time you're moving ahead huh? and not moving ahead just for yourself but increasing the energy level everywhere around you contributing at every so that would say that is for r um uh, a uh, would be i would say uh, achievement uh, but that achievement is linked very much with awareness uh, uh, and you have an alignment between ambition and acceptance so many is okay uh, Yeah. See, you accept you accept reality at the same time you're ambitious to change it. So it's like the serenity prayer, no? You, you know the prayer, yeah. right? The yeah. uh, grant me what? Grant me the courage to change what I can change. You know, the serenity to accept what I cannot change, and the wisdom to know the difference. Yeah, I right? don't remember the prayer, but I'm familiar. With Something it. like that. Huh? So it's basically do your best, leave the rest. Don't try to push beyond what reality or logic or rationality has to offer. At the same time. Uh, uh expand yep okay beautiful beautiful uh i also saw one thing uh, i don't know whether this is conscious or whether this is learned or this just happened without sitting under a tree uh raju for you i i saw that this whole thing about aham brahmasmi you know 
or Vasudev Kutumbakam. I was reminded of that. Aham Brahmasmi means expanding your identity to include the entire world. So when a leader takes care of himself, he also takes care of others because the others are in his world. There's only one world. So what you shared was like a beautiful uh, implementation of that philosophy. I don't know whether that was consciously done or whether it is... Uh, or the Vasudeva Kutumbakam. You know the philosophy that the world is one family. Uh, the, because at that about, age, at that age, I'm not sure you would have known all of these things or thought about it. I don't know. It was more organic evolution. And I even named it, uh, I named it as all the jeeves in the universe as Ujeev. Uh, uh, you, like as a shortcut to uh, represent that idea. U-J-E-E. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a universe and a jeeve. When I found out about what universe meant later on, and then you know that's yeah. when I kind of club that. Lovely, lovely. Huh? That's fantastic. Mm. So uh, J is for joy, and J is for Jeev. Yeah. Yeah. I think ultimately, when you are spreading your knowledge, when you are uh, whatever position you reach, the board position, the position is just a title. What you can do from that position, the shout, the whispering from the top of the mountain. That's the impact, which is joy to every jeev. Okay. Yeah. Then the you, for me, you can help me out here, Raju. This is, uh, we are creating Universal. Universality. I, I love universality. Also, I found one more thing, understanding. Uh, not a superficial accepting of what's happening, but a deeper going, the, the curiosity part. You know, they Keep that childlikeness always alive in you to to move from a position of curiosity and not from a state of scarcity uh, or fear, uh, yeah. which is a, a deep understanding, which includes understanding of yourself, understanding of the market condition, understanding of the business. Yeah. See, nobody comes to a mentor because of the position. They, they want, they give the position because you're doing the job of a mentor, which is understanding and sharing that. Yeah. So I think that that's also there. Huh? And uh, universality is, of course, your... Uh, uh, I, I love the fact that you're able to do what in Harvard Business School they call thin slicing. Thin slicing, the concept is this. If you take a potato and you cut the small thin slice of the potato, it tastes the same like the potato, right? So when you attend a meeting or you listen to somebody speak, if you can thin slice whatever they're saying into one sentence, it's like summarizing, but that has the essence of the whole thing. I noticed you do that a lot. You take your life experiences, you reflect on it, you understand it, uh, and then you integrate it into your existing knowledge, and then you thin slice it and give it in the form of a sentence. <laughs> powerful, very, very powerful. Huh? And this yeah. one is a very powerful trait as a mentor because people will remember that sentence, and then they'll remember, and then they can go deeper into it. It becomes like a peg. Huh? So uh, this is what I thought I could summarize the whole thing. Are you like it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and I, I, I mean, the way you have... Um, um, you know, given the perspective, uh, using the name, acronym, I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, it's it's a way you have kind of summarized. Uh, I don't think I could have done it better. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So, so lovely talking with you, Raju. And uh, I wish you, uh, you know, uh, grow even more. And grow is to grow, to glow, and then you give. Yeah. Okay. These are the three values that we have. Uh, lovely, love, lovely chatting with you. I look forward to catching up with you some other time. Anything else you'd like to say before we say bye? No, I think uh, I would, you know, just uh, um, one last thought that, you know, uh, just stay true to yourself, um, you know, for all the people who are listening. Um, okay. like Brilliant. In just, sorry, sorry, sorry for interrupting. That is the A, more powerful A. Thank you, Rajiv. Uh, reflect, that is your introspect you are saying, A is authentic, authenticity, be authentic uh, for you to get joy uh, through a deeper understanding of what life is. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but go ahead, I interrupted you, go ahead, you were saying something. Yeah, I, I, I you know, and, and I think, um, you know, be consistent in your thoughts and actions, um, you know, just because nobody is around, you don't have to be any different from you know, when around, and I think that's where the consistency comes. And uh, I think, uh, and always uh, don't just restrict to yourself, uh, expand it to the universal, uh, you know, scope. Uh, I, I think that 
is what I just want to summarize. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliantly put together. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks a lot, Raju. Catch up with you Thank some you. other time soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you.